Detective Conan Zero Steak Time Finale. Who would ever thought I'm going to do another review of this anime? <laughs> but anyway, I'm counting on down on what since it is. Since it's only uh, 15 minutes long, basically. The Garam Nang Mission Si Kasami. They were to protect the, um, basically the Prime Minister's convoy. Well, how abang they're, go, they're going about their jobs. Merong isang snatcher na na hostage ng baby. Eh, uh, Amaro, or in, or uh, in police mode, si Ray Furuya, si Ray Furuya, well, of course, eh, umilan, umantar na yung pagkapulis niya. So, tumulong din siya. Now, iba yung pagkakatulong niya eh. Yung mga kasamahan niya kasi, uh, well, fearing for the baby's life, eh, medyo, pinakawalan nila yung, pinakawalan muna nila yung hostage taker. Nung pag, pasok na hostage taker sa, sa isang madilim na iskinita, ayun, naka, inaabangan na siya ni ano doon, ni, ni, ni Ray. While he was, yeah, while he was eating a banana. Then, eto namang, eto namang gabong hostage taker, ibinato pa yung bata kay Ray. So, syempre, ang unang, ang unang response to Ray, ni Ray is to save the baby, which he did. So, while he was doing this, sasaksakin na siya ng, ng hostage taker with a screwdriver. Pero, in a masterful uh, judo move, one arm take down, gina yung ginawa niya. Talagang, head first, bumagsak yung, yung hostage taker. Ayun. Up, down for the count. Nahuli nila. When he's not in police mode, his name, his name is uh, Toro Amuro. Si Amuro. So, dinala niya sa bed ngayon yung, yung napulot niyang aso. Right? It's actually a wolf dog. So, medyo uh, hindi siya accustomed sa mga loud sa mga loud noise, sa mga loud urban noises like yung uh, sirena ng police, sirena ng ambulansya, or even the mere honk of a car. Yung eh, eh, basta yung busina ng busina ng kotse. Eh, it's, it's the dog's first time to be vaccinated so medyo takot sa sa iniksyon takot sa hinigil niya syempre nung tinuro ayun <laughs> umiyan sa sakit eh ang problema lang ni Amaro rito hindi niya mabigyan ng tamang pangalan yung yung bago niyang alaga so they went home and well um while he was uh, siguro preparing for dinner, medyo, uh, medyo nag-zoomies yung, nag-zoomies yung aso. Hanggang sa nabunggo yung gitara niya. Fortunately, he was able to save the guitar. At that moment, tinugtog niya ito. Right? So, yeah, of course, to, uh, to calm, to calm his dog down, yeah, and it worked. Right? Naka, nakatulog na. Just like, yeah, just like my dog over there. Ganon. Ganon yung pwesto. Okay? Ganon yung pwesto. So, while he was um, going over the uh, the different keys of uh, of the song he just sang to his dog, so, sabi niya, ganon. Okay. Hmm. He finally thought of a name for this dog. So, the next day, balik sila sa vet. Second, ano, second shot na yun. Ayun, in-announce ng, ng nurse, uh, Amuro Haro-san. Ayun, so, the dog's name is now Haro. Final scene. Well, obviously, spring festival. So, everybody's in a, everybody's in a park full of, uh, in a park full of cherry blossom trees, enjoying, yeah, enjoying the advent of spring. Binanggit ngayon ng kanyang assistant sa resto na if you catch uh, three petals at the same time, your wish will be granted. So, uh, nagpaalam siya to, to get some more sake. He made a beeline to his car, pero while he was going there, nag, uh, nag martial arts move siya, yun pala, 
He wants to get some petals himself. He caught five. Right? He caught five. His dog, eh, kasama pala niya, siguro naghihintay sa kotse, ayun, tumahol, ayun, uh, he finally completed his journey to the car. Patreon, hindi, wala na nga pala. We will be leaving Patreon, guys. Bigo, mga ka-lifestyle, let's break this finale down, critics of style. Pace! So much did happen, pero nothing on The pacing didn't, didn't do much to make me understand that that it doesn't uh, it doesn't need to this anime doesn't need to go into the serious side of things very often since it is only a uh, a 15 minute long episode the pace is not justified it so naman I can only cite one gear shift here. Yung, yung pagkaka-take down ni, ni Furuya dun sa hostage taker. Because, in, well, it, you see, if you saw the episode already, you could see that coming from a previous scene. Dahil, he was, uh, he was, um, Kasami's sparring partner in judo. He demonstrated his one-arm takedown in this gear shift on how lethal it is. Based on this gear shift that I saw, Sana, um, they could have expounded on that situation. They, they could have made it a whole episode or made it at least two-thirds of the episode. I don't know. Kumbaga, na-undermine ang pagiging legit spin-off ng, ng Detective Conan ng anime na to. Plot-wise. Um, well, the continuity is there. Therefore, malinis ang plot, Bigo. Mga ka-lifestyle. Malinis pa rin. Kasi, you could tell that this episode happened within the same day. Pero, the plot wasn't clean enough to tell me that, hey, JG, this is the finale of this anime. Nah. But it is a clean plot. I, I, I will not deny that. So, base flowing plot. Yeah. They all came together for this episode. So, Detective Conan Zero Tea Time Finale. This is probably the first time I'm going to rate a finale as such. Bakit? Well, bottom line is this. Tinuntin nyo pa rin nila yung daily lives flavor ng, ng anime na to. They could have... They could have made it more exciting. Okay? It's a Detective Conan spin-off. Dapat may konting excitement, may konting... May konting kasos... May uh, malaking kasos si Noson, si... Si Furuya, or merong mabigat na nangyari sa kanyang pers personal na buhay, or... He took on, yeah, he took on a case as Bourbon. Tapat sana ganun. Eh, the Bourbon part of his life only got highlighted in episode, yeah, episode 3. Episode 3 lang. Doon lang, doon lang pinakita ni, ni Furuya yung kanyang, yung, yung angas niya bilang si Bourbon. Doon lang, guys. And, to think this is, well, yeah, it is a six-episode series. Pero sana man lang. You should have given Bourbon a full episode's exposure para ma maramdaman ng mga first-time viewers na ganito ang isa pang buhay ng isang, ng isang supporting character ng Detective Conan. And besides, my God, 
like I said a while ago, guys, it's the legit spin-off of Detective Conan. Walang kami, walang kami, mis, walang kami stay misterio, misterio. The mystery element is missing in this episode. As in, as in all the rest, alright? Talagang, I don't know why they, why they um, turn this into a daily life, into a daily life series. But it's more like a daily lives of Amoro uh, anime. Not Detective Conan Zero's Tea Time. Right? <clears throat> so, overall, the entire series was, I don't know, it was, parang ano lang eh. A little bit disappointing. It was a little bit disappointing. But, I, I have mixed feelings for this particular episode. Alright? Some parts I was totally unsatisfied. Kaya ganon yung rating ko. But anyway, sorry to disappoint you, Detective Conan fans, about uh, if uh, if my rating of this episode and this entire anime is well, probably not to your liking. I gotta be objective, guys. Right? I have to be objective. So again, for the final time, Detective Conan Zero Steel Time finale. Sorry talaga. Alright. Don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. TMS Entertainment. Um, I hate to say it. Under-delivered for this anime. I mean, it has two bread and butter franchises. This one and Lupin the Third. Okay? Tapos, paminsan-minsan, meron silang Dr. Stone. Minsan, may, minsan, meron din silang D-Gray Man. Yeah, D-Gray Man is TMS Entertainment. <clears throat> I don't know why they under-delivered in this anime. But, should I thank them? Yeah, still. Thank you, TMS Entertainment, for Detective Conan Zero C time. Quick one. So, until the next Detective Conan spin-off, guys, right? May mga susunod pa dyan, right? And to, um, um, and hopefully, the Critics Hub will still be around for Detective Conan episode, for at least episode 1500. I hope we're still around for that. And I'm, it'll, uh, it'll be, um, it'll be an honor reviewing that milestone in anime history. Because, yeah, we did review, we did review episode 1000 of Detective Conan. And for you guys, for Beagle, once I uh, get a hold of his link, you will actually see that. Right? Bonus ko na sa inyan. So, goodbye Patreon. And well, Critics Hub has now just found a home in Beagle. <laughs>